This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. In this episode, we're going to have a look at the Liquid Markup language and how we can use it in our Rails applications. And Liquid is pretty cool. It provides a safe customer-facing template language for flexible web applications. And essentially what that means is if we have some kind of templating that we want to allow our users of the application to manage themselves, but they want to pull in dynamic content from our application to display, that could be a serious security concern. And so what it allows us to do is use the double mustaches in a body of text, we then put in some kind of variable and then close it out. And when it's rendered, it would then interplay in the proper text. There's a lot of different operators and conditionals that can be used. And so I would highly recommend looking at the documentation for just some of the different things that you're able to do with it. And so for our use case in our application, we're going to create a mail template. This is a template that we're going to be able to use within our application. And we're not going to go through the entire workflow of taking the mail template to send out the emails. However, we will be able to see how that's going to work if we edit one of these templates. And if we scroll down a bit, you'll see that we have a normal action text box that we can then make our changes. And as we type, we can see a preview. We also have some informative text where we're then able to copy this and we're able to paste it up in our preview and using Stimulus.js, it'll automatically render out the preview. We are able to do different things like highlight something or make it bold and then we're able to see the changes happen. And so for this application, we're going to use a basic Rails 7 app we're going to use action text, and then we're going to use stimulus JS to listen in on key presses in our action text. And whenever we see some kind of double mustaches like this, we're going to make a request back to the Rails application to generate a liquid render to then pass it back and display it so we can see it update. And did you know that you can go to railsstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.